Role-based privileges is, uh, you may know this as access controls, um, access roles that we have in, in the existing product. This, we got a lot, we again, took your feedback and tried to improve. We tried to improve on what we've been doing over the years. So what you're gonna see here is, um, I think, a pretty straightforward builder for a role. So you say, this is a help desk role, um, help desk, and now I'm gonna come in here and say, you know, for directory management, I wanna give uh, create and not, not delete. I'm gonna do create, edit, and view access for my users. But I'm gonna remove Salesforce because I have that's my sensitive stuff that I don't want to I don't want this help desk person touching that as well as namely. I'm gonna remove that. So that's my HR system. So I'm gonna remove those two because that's outside of my policy for my help desk team. Um, and then for groups, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll probably do full access for everything again, except for namely and Salesforce. And then you could keep doing this, right? You could do it for files, but I'm gonna leave files off right now. I'm gonna leave workflows off. Now I go down here, I assign the role to someone. So I'm gonna assign it to me. And then now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I log in as this help desk user, David Politis. I log in as David Politis. What you notice on the left side is the nav is, is, is only has directory, that's it. Remember the nav before had many, many items on it, workflows, files, everything. Now you only have directory. Even more interesting, when I click on a user, if you remember before, this user had a Salesforce account, a Namely account, and now you don't see that anymore. Same thing, I go to memberships, you're not going to see Salesforce and Namely because those have been removed from this role. Um, also, if you select a user and you're a super administrator, you have delete access. But now, because I didn't delegate out delete access, that user's not going to have that. So this is a this is for me this this may not be you know really workflows probably um, and the alerts is the most popular functionality today in the product but I believe this is the future of this product because one of the big problems we're seeing across all of our customers is the SaaS applications themselves don't offer the granularity and the consistency across SaaS application around permissioning most have uh, admin super admin admin and end user or maybe they have owner, admin, member, or maybe they have, but they don't, there's no consistency. There's no rule that says an admin has this right, but a super admin has this right, and an end user has this right, but a help desk, there's nothing there. So this allows to create a common uh, role and, and assign that and then leverage RUI as the front end to that. And so help desk and IT can come in through, you know, we see people delegating roles out to HR actually through here. Um, so, and you have a full audit log of all of that. So you can audit that, you can turn admins on and off in one place. So, so that's really popular functionality that I feel long-term, this is, this is some of the most exciting IP that we've built um, because the, the problem is only gonna get bigger and bigger.